Okay, good evening to everyone. We are from group 6. We are presenting on the effect of monosodium glutamate MRT on anabasthesidemias and biogenesis. For the introduction, the introduction, anabasthesidemias is the new disease that can direct a very extreme unfavorable water condition and associate in many ways with febic pneumonia. Be able to survive for several days or even weeks without water as the air breathing organs can be moist. Meanwhile, for the monosodium glutamate, MSG is a top moist food additive used as a flavor enhancer in daily nutrient. Even though it has been classified as a safe food ingredient, but the uses of the sodium salt of glutamate acid still remains controversial. And the objective of the study is to determine the effect of, F of MSG on the freshwater fish anabastes epidemias, econ kiwi and biogenesis. For the methodology, first the fish is injected with hormone overprint to induce the stomach. Then the fish are left in the dark to reduce stress. Finally, the fish eggs are collected to initiate the experiment. The experiment consists of two which involve the MSG and the control. MSG method. Firstly, the stage micrometer is used to calibrate compound microscope and two grams of adenomotor powder is weighed using a mercury imbalance. 200 ml of plain water is used to dissolve the adenomotor powder. Strongly controlled is Fertilized anabastes epidemias is into liquor using dropper. The used dropper should place three to four fish eggs on the pressure plate and observe under the microscope to check its process. The plate is then changed when no changes are observed in the previous lab. And change the concentration of the MSG when the fish has hatched and maturity. Concentration of MSG is lowered from 0.8% to 0.5%. The development of the fish egg is observed and recorded from stage to stage in the fish. For the control method, firstly, the stage micrometer is used to calibrate compound microscope and then 200 ml of water is placed into 200 ml of less glass beaker. Strong transfer should be fertilized. And the best is to test the genius egg into a liquor using dropper. Each dropper should place three to four fish eggs on the pressure slide and observe the microscope under the microscope and the picture is taken. The fish egg is replaced when no change is changes observed within 10 minutes. Finally, the development of the fish egg is observed and recorded from stage to stage until it is hatched. This is the final fish egg anabastes epidemias for control and MSC. Hi, I will be talking about the time timeline of the fish egg for anabastes epidemias. As you can see, as we go along the slides, you will be seeing that. Generally, the shape on the size of the fish and brow soak in the 0.8 mg is actually the same as the control. Since larvae has no complete digestive system of gills, the uptake of MSG is limited to the body surface. As we all know, fish and brow is protected by chorion, thus uptake of MSG is minimum. Therefore, the effect of MSG is not as pronounced as we can see later. However, the development of fish embryo in 0.8% MSG is faster than control. For example, as you can see here, for 64 cell, the <coughs> HPF is actually 0.77 for control, but 0.55 for MSG. And what at 128 cell, MSG is 0.97 but for a control is 0.12. Similar trend can be seen as we move along the slides. When 
we comes to around three to six or my, we can obs we observe many premature hatch cases for the fish eggs, as we can see in this picture. These are the premature hatch uh, fish embryos. For this case, this is the chorion, and this is the premature hatch uh, fish embryo, and this is the normal normal fish embryo. So we decided to lower our concentration of MSG to continue our research. So as Wai mentioned, we conducted another experiment, which is to introduce new and lower concentration of MSG to developing fish embryos. From 6 or my onwards, we use another concentration, which is 0 0.0055 grams per milliliter or 0.5% MSG. And if you see between the fish embryo immersed in MSG and control, there's not much difference. But you can see that the fish embryo subjected to 0.5% of MSG is darker than control. And the reason why the embryo appears darker is probably due to the different degree of illumination used uh, with different microscopes. Um, we cannot say that uh, we have observed the uh, pigmentation because uh, there has been no research done that relates between pigmentation and MSG. And at the stage of 21 soma, it was difficult to find survivor because of the highest because the highest concentration of MSG used by Abdul Kader et al. and his team was only 0.01% and the MSG we used here was 0.5%. It is like we uh, we use a concentration that is 50 times higher than what has been done. And therefore, we have not much embryo that survive until the end. And MSG is an exotoxin that damages the nerve cell by excessive stimulation by neurotransmitters. This explains the fact that we saw an intense spasm of the whole fish larvae, especially the long skeletal part. This may be contributing to the premature hatch of the fish embryo as the spasm is quite intense and frequent that it might break the, break the chorion. So this we will be showing a, a video of the heartbeat as well as the blood flow for the control. And you can see here, this is the blood, I mean the heartbeat of the fish embryo. And here you can see there's blood flow from the heart all over the body. And we, this is what Jian said about just now, the intensive spasm that might trigger the premature hatching of the fish embryo. Here we're going to show you the heartbeat of the fish larvae, which we bred it immersed in 0.5% of MSG. The heartbeat of fish larvae was observed at 15.95 HPM. As you can see here, this is the heartbeat of the fish larvae, which we immersed in 0.5% of MSG. And according to a research done by Zalina et al. At in 2012, the heartbeat of a normal anaba starts at 16 somite, but in our case, we could not, we can't really see the somite due to the uh, orientation of the fish larvae. And here we will show you a video of hatching of fish larvae at control at 21. 48 HPF. This is the hatching video, which uh, the fish larvae hatch halfway.
here we'll be showing a video of patching for the fish larvae that, that we immerse in 0.5 mfg. The hatching occurs at 17 HPF, which is much later, much earlier compared to control. And according to Zalina, the hatching of fish larvae is actually 20 HPF. So for our control, it is more or less a sim uh, the same result as uh, shown by Zalina. But for MSG, it was much earlier. As the conclusion, there are two experiments conducted. The first one would be the 0.8 MSG, where we started from two cells all the way to three somites. The fish embryos prematurely hatch or stop the, their growth at around three to three or eight somites. As and and then we continue our experiment at 0.5 percent MSG, where we started at around um, from 14 somite until hatch. The result was quite incompatible with what with the previous study done before in 2012. Uh, as the scientists done the experiment for H, uh, 96 HPF using other species, which is the zebra fish. And this is our reference, and we hope you have a nice day. Thank you very much.